and they were out on patrol and the team broke off into like into twos okay which you know being a combat veteran um that's un- I'm not saying it doesn't happen but you know you you know if you're a regular you know a regular unit you normally wouldn't do that maybe like SEALs and special forces would do that because they're more trained to fight in two man teams mm-hmm. you know um but I'm not saying it would never happen. Yeah. But they went off into twos, and they're going up the hill, and they heard it, you know, a scream, and they went up a little bit slower. And as they got to the top, and they're looking over, they see two insurgents already dead, and one that was standing there, um, you know, like begging for his life, I guess, you know, because they didn't understand what he was saying, and there was two of these creatures in front of them that were they looked like wolves wearing body armor and they had a sword that was like a pharaoh sword you know uh, kind of like the uh, a sickle mm-hmm. you know the kind of, just kind of like the sword you see in the scorpion king yeah in the mummy and it had one of those he said and it just took this guy in two from like the shoulders down you know oh um and in the the funny thing about it is that the first guy who told me the story, you know, actually told me that these things had these swords, but I never told that part of the story because I always thought it was hokey, <laughs> you yeah. know, until I got validation from this second story, you know, um, and then, and so that, yeah, so that extraterrestrial part there, I mean, if you look at pictures of Anubis, yeah, okay, he carries, Anubis carries that sword. Mm-hmm. You know, so was Anubis a one of these extraterrestrial dogmen? You know, 